talk about what it's been like for you to step into this world of Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, from season one or from season two? Yeah, let's start with season one. Uh, I mean, I remember kind of talking to David Escoia before starting shooting, and I was just struck by this extraordinary encyclopedic knowledge of all the characters, of the world, of the show. It's, it's something that's very unfamiliar, actually, doing shows in England, where he'd basically got every series mapped out for three, four, five series if we're lucky enough to get there. And I think that's what gives the characters this wonderful, rich complexity is, you know, it's called Da Vinci's Demons, but I think you'd be hard pushed to find many characters that aren't haunted by some pretty dark uh, demons lurking in their past in the show. And, um, you know, to have that level of complexity and to have had that level of detail ascribed to each character is, is an exciting place to be. How will we see things evolve for season two for you? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty epic journey. So season one, I think Riario is largely controlled. He's this very meticulous character. He has all the political, financial, military backing of the Vatican. This year, he is catapulted across the other side of the world. He is on a, a race across the Atlantic with Da Vinci to get to the Book of Leaves. And we just see him way out of his comfort zone. We see him uh, tested to breaking point, physically, emotionally, spiritually. We poke around the recesses of his soul. We, uh, we see a new amorous side of him. Uh, it's, a, it's a big old journey. It's, 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 anyway, it's really exciting to play. What are your thoughts on the fact that they came out with the Da Vinci's video game for mobile this, this year? I didn't know about that. I, I'm excited. I, now, now you say that, I'll, I'll go and check that out this afternoon. Were you familiar with the, the second screen app that they came out with that allowed people to delve further into the the, mytho the real history? I have, to, I have to confess, I'm a complete Luddite. I am, I'm, I'm always about 20 years out in technology, so uh, someone tells me there's this thing called a mobile phone, but I, I haven't quite got around to, to getting one yet. But, yeah, uh, in 20 years, you're going to see this really cool Da Vinci's video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing called television. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, we are making this for real, aren't we, this show? <laughs> What are, what are the challenges of bringing in real, real history with, with, with fantasy? I, mean, I, I, think, I think they've done a brilliant blend. You know, the David S. Goyer and all the writers have a wonderful, complex knowledge of the period. Uh, they've had university professors, they've researched around, and they kind of pluck out lots of interesting things, and then they extrapolate beyond it. You know, it is a historical fantasy, but it's amazing how close we're cleaving to history, actually, on, on many accounts, in terms of the Patsy conspiracy, in terms of Sixtus uh, excommunicating Florence this season, in terms of, you know, the real Riario, the real Sixtus, the real Da Vinci, the real Lorenzo. The, uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff that we, we, we've gleaned from history, so it's, it's not, you know, it gives us a great bedrock to, uh, to build on.